Hi, I'm Dan Stair of Daniel's Training Services, and I provide training and consulting services for the management of waste and also for the transportation of hazardous materials. The purpose of this video is to explain and answer the question, is the waste generated by medical facilities related to the COVID-19 public health emergency? Are those wastes a hazardous waste under federal and state regulation? So that's the question we're going to answer in this video and expand a little bit on that as well. Now, a couple explanations and disclaimers. This video is a very brief uh, description of some very complex regulations. I have more information in an article that I've written on this topic there is a link to that article in the video description. So by all means, watch this video. If it's of interest to you, go to the article that I've written, follow the links to more information that I provided, and of course, contact me with a question. But you do have to do your own research. Don't rely on just what you see here. Um, these uh, regulations change, and we are currently in, in the midst of this uh, COVID-19 public health emergency, a lot of changes. These regulations could very well change tomorrow. I don't think so. Not the stuff we're going to be covering here today. It's pretty fundamental. But state and federal regulations may change due to the changing nature of the COVID-19 public health emergency. So make sure you stay on top of the information. This information is current as of April 28, 2020. Um, this information can also be applied to any medical waste that's generated. More on that in a little bit. Okay, and of course, I do have a disclaimer video. You can check that out. It's just my standard uh, disclaimer related to RICRA and uh, hazardous waste and waste management and that sort of thing. Okay, so let's get right to it, and let's talk about the scope and applicability of this. What are we considering when we talk about medical waste and all that? Well, Specifically, we're talking about wastes that are generated during the diagnosis, testing for, and or treatment of persons that have or are suspected to have an infectious disease, such as uh, the coronavirus, right? The, the virus that causes COVID-19. So any waste, anything you discard that comes in contact with an infectious agent uh, could very well be a medical waste. We are specifically in this video talking about the waste generated from those exposed to coronavirus, but it could be any uh, virus. Um, the waste that we're going to be talking about are those generated at healthcare facilities, hospitals, um, perhaps testing locations, healthcare industry, community based testing sites, some other private, uh, commercial, or government testing location. This information does not apply to a household. Households and the waste generated in households are not subject to these regulations. So um, if you are treating someone in your home that has a potential exposure to the, uh, the virus that causes COVID-19, please go to the CDC website for more information there. Um, and so the other thing is, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to call it medical waste. I'm going to talk more in a little bit why that name may vary in your state, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to call it medical waste. Okay, so now let's answer that question. Is the waste generated in private or government healthcare facilities that may or may be suspected of being contaminated with the coronavirus, are those a hazardous waste under federal or state regulations? The answer is no. And that may surprise some of you, but there's some very good reasons for that. The federal and the state regulations that are based on those federal regulations identify two different kinds of hazardous waste, either listed hazardous waste, it's on a specific list, or it has a particular dangerous characteristic so we have listed hazardous waste, we have characteristic hazardous waste. Unless it is somehow contaminated with some other waste, um, your, and I can say with pretty high confidence, that your typical healthcare facility infectious waste, including that 
caused by the COVID-19 uh, virus will not be listed under federal or state regulations and will not display a dangerous characteristic. So it will not be a hazardous waste under federal or state regulations. Um, to take it a little bit further, federal and state regulations do not define waste as hazardous according to their infectious nature. So that would mean that those wastes coming from, again, healthcare facilities and that sort of thing, are a non-hazardous waste under federal and state regulations. So that means just set it out the curb, throw it out the trash, right? No, it does not. Because the non-hazardous waste, um, and in particular medical waste, EPA at the federal level hands that off to the states. Now you may be surprised to learn that, but there are no federal regulations under the EPA for the management of medical waste. They toyed with a little bit in the early 90s. Um, some of you my age may remember the hypodermic needles washing up on the eastern sheep seaboard and all of that. And I've got a link to that article if you're interested in that. That's all in my article as well. But the fact of the matter is, besides a brief experiment in the early 90s, uh, EPA does not and has not regulated medical waste. They leave it to the states. And that presents a big challenge because then the states are all different. The, the different, different states, every state has different regulations for the management of medical waste. I'm familiar with many of them, some I haven't yet, but you are going to need to learn the regulations of your state for the management of your medical waste. And some of those differences, for example, what it's called. In some states, it's a medical waste. In some states, it's a biomedical waste. In some states, it's a regulated medical waste. Here in Illinois, it's, a, it's called a potentially infectious medical waste. Infectious, infectious, medical waste. Okay, um, so different names, uh, different requirements for the on-site containers and labeling, different requirements for registration and fees you may need to pay, different state regulations for how you prepare it and ship it off-site. So all of that, you got to check with your state. In my article, I have a link to another website where you can look at the regulations of your state. So all 50 states. Um, have their medical waste regulations uh, summarized. You can follow that link, just follow it on through from my article, get to this site, and you can look and see, and then do further research on the regulations of your state, okay? So again, to sum up, medical waste, not a hazardous waste, not subject to federal regulations. Check with your state, and every state's different. Um, Again, if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. I've written other articles and I intend to do other videos related to uh, the current COVID-19 uh, health, uh, public health emergency and uh, how that's reflected in the regulations of the US EPA and the US DOT. Thank you very much and please be safe.